have about 70 volunteers at three different locations today. Dallas, Arlington, and Fort Worth. They all signed up to come out. Uh, we went out and scoped the projects to see what each club needed done. And then volunteers from corporations like UPS and American Airlines have come out to help us out. Um, so it's a big team effort. And it actually shows that people care. Because a lot of these people that ain't from this community. Okay, so it just shows the heart of people in general. Got a lot of caring people. Like, for instance, this group that's working over here, they're from a Boys and Girls Club in Nebraska. And they're here from the National Conference, and they wanted to come and be a part of this work day. I am priming a picnic table <laughs> that's going to be painted as soon as it dries. So uh, a lot of people say I'm painting myself, but I'm, I'm painting a picnic table. All of us who work for Boys and Girls of America, and where our role is to support and help local clubs, to be able to kind of go out and and get close to it, I think, as often as we can is, is good for us. It reminds us of why we're here. This space is being completely renovated for our teams. We really want to make them feel like this is their space, um, a place for them to be and be with their friends. Um, also be in a space where they can connect with staff, too, and really get the guidance that they need. We're in the east side of Arlington, and it's a, an area that uh, is of great need. Uh, and so when the kids walk in here, they see that. They really do value and appreciate what uh, other people do for them. So they'll ask that question right away, wow, who did this? And, and they'll know because when they walk in here, they'll see it and uh, they take a sense of pride in there. Of course, Domino's today, True Value gave us 60 gallons of paint. We couldn't have done it without that. We had Lowe's in here. They made us their Heroes Project for the year. So they, not only have we gotten this amount and this amount of time from people, they're putting in labor, they're buying their own stuff, they're taking care of all that, that stuff by themselves. So. I don't think that it's really about today. I think it's about the partnership for this club. Today's just a pinnacle part of the process. As soon as you guys are actually finishing up and cleaning, I'll actually be leaving on bus routes to go ahead and go pick up kids. Um, when you guys are still here, we'll probably have pretty close to 50 kids in the building, and then they'll slowly start to trickle in and we'll get pretty close to our ADA, which is right around 160 a day. I'm so excited to see the look on my, on my kids' faces when they walk in the door today to see how awesome this club is gonna look from before and after. It's definitely gonna be a big difference, and I know they're gonna appreciate it. Well, at UPS, we firmly believe in giving back to the communities that we serve, and volunteerism is a big part of uh, what UPS is all about. Thank you, thank you for caring. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of so many people. The volunteers that have come out today have talked to a number of them, and uh, what I found is a lot of folks have actually grown up in Boys and Girls Clubs. You have a lot of alum out here, and it's a personal feeling of satisfaction to give back to an organization that helped benefit you as you were growing up. The work of Boys and Girls Clubs has been important to Major League Baseball for years. They've been our official charity. Uh, we're in that official designation for our 21st year. We're doing a renovation in every Major League market. So over the next uh, four to five years, we'll be doing 30 makeovers. And here, this is the one we're doing here in the Dallas area. Uh, just an opportunity to give back. I mean, uh, what an awesome day. I couldn't be more proud of how the teams came together. You know, so many different corporations out here collaborating. Um, but really just unified in, in, in one goal, and that's giving back to these kids and making a difference in their lives. I think that's the ultimate message. Today was a fantastic day, our second annual day of service. We were able to bring together some 300 people to renovate three boys and girls clubs, work at a community food bank and a women's shelter. I want to thank all the volunteers, our captains. I especially want to thank Latrice Coit for leading this out. Uh, but the 300 people that gathered together in spirit and energy, we accomplished the goal success for the second annual day of service at our national conference.